Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. I am back with a video about the long-awaited Ethereum merge. Now for those of you guys who don't already know, what have you been doing? Have you been living under a rock? Because it's been the most talked about fundamental news in the crypto industry. The Ethereum merge is where Ethereum's blockchain will be moving away from the proof of work consensus mechanism to a proof of stake consensus mechanism. I mean, the implications for Ethereum are huge. Emissions will be cut by 99%. And I have made videos about how miners may be moving over to Ethereum Classic, which is still a proof of work consensus mechanism. What this means essentially is that transactions that take place on the blockchain will no longer need to be validated by miners. Therefore, miners will not be required and therefore energy consumption will be lower. Instead, it will be actual users that stake a large amount of Ethereum tokens that can validate the transactions. Now, the first step of the merge has taken place today, September 6th, and this is the Bellatrix upgrade. The Bellatrix upgrade is one of the last necessary steps prior to the official merge taking place. So in preparation to this, a lot of Ethereum nodes have been marked as merge ready. What this means is that Ethereum node operators must comply with the Bellatrix upgrade. What they need to do is update their consensus layer clients before the Epoch 144896 that is taking place on the Beacon chain. It's supposed to take place 1134 UTC, so basically today, so it's already taken place. As you can see, this is incredibly important. According to the Ethereum Foundation, node operators that do not actually make this update prior to the Bellatrix hard fork that takes place today will cause Ethereum clients to sync to the pre-fork blockchain. They wrote that node operators will be stuck on an incompatible chain following the old blockchain rules and will be unable to send Ether or operate on the post-merge Ethereum network. So it's been incredibly important that the entire ecosystem for Ethereum is ready for the Bellatrix upgrade and they make the necessary adjustments. Now the next part of the merge is crucial and that will take place between September 10th and September 20th, which is why I have loaded up on Ethereum as well as Uniswap. I've also been buying NFTs that have been built on the Ethereum blockchain because the merge will make energy efficiency better and therefore the NFT markets more streamlined. So the TTD, which is the terminal total difficulty, will be incredibly important for the merge to take place. Like I mentioned, it will take place between September 10th and September 20th. What you guys need to know as Ethereum users that you don't actually need to do anything. It's more the validators that operate the Ethereum nodes that had to make the necessary Bellatrix upgrade changes. As you can see, according to the Ethereum Foundation, users of Ethereum don't actually need to do anything with their Ethereum and their Ethereum-based assets during the merge, but they should be on the lookout for scams that can suggest otherwise. And there will be a lot of possibilities of scams because of the old Ethereum network and the existence of the new one. And you know how I said that the Ethereum merge will mean that it's a proof of stake consensus mechanism and miners are no longer required? Funnily enough, or not so funnily enough, quite expectedly so, the Ethereum merge has started to hit gaming chip prices. So the prices for graphics processing units, GPUs, have actually fallen because the demand from cryptocurrency miners has also fallen. Again, I don't know how hard hit GPU prices will be if Ethereum miners move towards Ethereum Classic, but irregardless, they will fall even if miners do choose to move over to Ethereum Classic, just because the Ethereum ecosystem is one of the biggest ones out there after Bitcoin. And speaking of Bitcoin, do you guys remember last year when we saw a bit of a cryptocurrency crash when Tesla announced that they were no longer accepting Bitcoin as a method of payment because of how energy intensive it is? Well, this Ethereum merge does cut energy costs by 99% and it may be a huge shakeup that challenges Bitcoin's price. And if you look at CoinMarketCap, Ethereum has been up 9.23% in the last seven days compared to Bitcoin being up only 0.11%, which is not much given that Bitcoin was supposed to be the leading confidence indicator. So could this mean that Ethereum overtakes Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is also associated with very strong privacy and Ethereum has not got the same reputation, but definitely when it comes to energy intensive use, Ethereum will be winning if this merge all goes as planned between September 10th and September 20th. 
Just to give you guys an idea of how much energy Bitcoin uses, you can take a look at this chart. This is Bitcoin's energy use compared to countries. So if Argentina and Ukraine are here, Finland is here, Israel is here, and Singapore is here, Bitcoin is pretty much higher than these two countries here. Not exactly the most sustainable future. Now, one of the most exciting impacts of the Ethereum merge is how it will impact NFTs. The entire NFT ecosystem will be more energy efficient, but there can be loads of new scams rising because of duplicate assets made on different chains. And this can be confusing if people don't check which chain that particular NFT belongs on. People could duplicate NFTs on another chain or in the old Ethereum chain, and this could lead to confusion as people don't know whether it's on the old chain or the new hard fork. Eric Deep, who's the co-founder of smart contract startup Manifold, has said that users should expect that their NFTs will safely reside on the new Ethereum proof of stake chain along with their Ethereum tokens. But when people aren't careful, it could be possible that they are buying duplicate NFTs that don't hold any value. So just be careful about that. Just a note, Ethereum themselves did say that the merge is coming. The Bellatrix upgrade is scheduled for Epoch 144896 on the Beacon chain today. And the TTD value, which is the terminal total difficulty value triggered the merge is, well, I cannot even say this number, is expected between 10 to 20th September 2022. Gives them a bit of leeway. If they give an exact date and it doesn't go as planned, you could see Ethereum price fall. That's why they've given a bit of a range. They have also said that this new merge will set the future by enabling future scaling upgrades that includes sharding. As you can see, Bellatrix was scheduled to today. TTD will be between September 10th and September 20th. And then finally, after those two are complete, the finality will take place after 12 minutes when the proof of work is deprecated. And thus, energy consumption will fall by 99.95%. Naturally, Uniswap, which is the Ethereum DEX, will benefit. That's why I bought Uniswap. They've said they are eagerly awaiting the Ethereum merge. And Uniswap is also one of the major places that NFT liquidity is created. And combined with the merge, the NFT ecosystem will become more energy efficient. And Uniswap has been in talks with lending protocols to build NFT financialization. You can see on this tweet that Uniswap is the interface for all NFT liquidity. We are now in talks with seven NFT lending protocols. We will be working with each one to solve for liquidity fragmentation and information asymmetry. So naturally, the Ethereum merge, Uniswap, NFT financialization all sort of goes hand in hand. I personally am incredibly excited for this upgrade. It's going to shake up the crypto community. Hopefully the market starts resolving. We have seen some negative news, such as Binance has stopped supporting one of the third biggest stable coins, USDC. If you want a video on that, I'll make one. But remember, none of this is financial advice. Make sure you do your own research before you invest in anything. Thank you guys for watching. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video. Also, I'm so glad the sun is out of my eyes right now. In the beginning of the video, you guys probably saw my face in sun and it was, I was like squinting at the camera. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.